Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge Mass Effect 3. Ich bin gerade maximal verwirrt. Wo muss ich denn jetzt hin? Live. Moment. Warum ist das so leise hier? Ah. Nee. Doch. Jetzt. Kopfhörer. Äh, so. Thane ist nicht da. Ach nee. Falsche, falsches Spiel. Ähm, wo wollte ich denn hin? Ich weiß das gar nicht mehr. Hier ist niemand. Hier wird bestimmt... Obwohl es die Lounge irgendwie. Hier wird wahrscheinlich keiner hinkommen. Das Klo. Alles klar. Ich weiß gerade nicht, wo ich hin wollte, um ehrlich zu sein. Garris. Wollte ich zu Garris? Ich glaube, ich wollte zu Garris. Wer, wer, wer lungert denn darum? Okay. Gucke ich gleich auch mal. Aber erstmal wollten wir ja... Garris wollte irgendwas kalibrieren. Ich erinnere mich. The problem isn't here. Systems all look green on my board. Oh. You sure? Maybe something was miscalibrated. <laughs> you do know who you're talking to, right? Yeah, yeah. I just had to check. Well, if you see Shepard, tell him to get over to the AI core and figure this out. We'll do. Richtig. We're dead in the water. Richtig. Der AI core war irgendwie. Garris. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Whatever's wrong with the Normandy isn't down here. Besides, after what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An eminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After the Collector base, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. 
He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Noch ein paar Kalibrationen machen. Na gut. Ja, sehr cool. Armor Piercing Ammo Unlocked Available in Mad Bay. Wie habe ich denn das jetzt geschafft? Na gut. <lacht> Wahrscheinlich durch Telepathie hat mir Garrus das alles übermittelt und jetzt kann ich es äh, erforschen. Was geht hier ab? Reassign Power, ja. Automated Systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. Follow ja. your lead. Mach mal auf. Joke, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. It could be an electrical fire or something. Ja, könnte auch irgendwas sein. Das ist äh, sehr präzise. I'm going in. Ja, die anderen haben schon Atemschutz und ich... Ha, ich bin... Äh, <lacht> I'm going in, sagt er. Ich bleib erst mal hinten stehen. Edie, talk to me. Aha. Da lebt doch was. Was... Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Was? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that we can agree. Oh ja. Äh, okay, Ivy ist also jetzt... Äh 
teilweise eine Person, wenn man so will. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yeah. Yes, it was. Joker is going to have a field day with this. Okay, weiß nicht genau, wie ich das jetzt verstehen soll. <lacht> da bin ich mal gespannt. Ja, was Joker sagt, da bin ich auf jeden Fall sehr gespannt. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus. I'll be fine, Leora. I'm just gathering some thoughts. All right. Das ist auch cool. Sie so miteinander quatschen. So, hier, äh, Intel Terminal. Ach ne, Intel Upgrades. None. Das verstehe ich immer noch nicht so ganz, was hier, was hier gebacken ist. Sonst kann ich hier auch nichts machen, oder? Broker Terminal. Na, äh, irgend so ein Protokoll. Something on your mind? Just old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palvin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Ja, <lacht> Krieg ist nicht schön. Ja, ja, ist, äh, ist alles gut. Aber mit der Forschung, das habe ich noch nicht verstanden. Ich habe doch jetzt eine unten im Maschinenraum, kann ich glaube ich irgendwas forschen. Also mit Garrus haben wir gequatscht. Mit E.D. haben wir gequatscht. What the fuck? Gehört jetzt offenbar zur Crew. Also jetzt als Plattform. Was haben wir denn noch hier? Hier war nix. Hier war auch nichts. Also hier wird mit Sicherheit noch jemand reinkommen, den wir finden. Gehe ich jetzt mal ganz stark von aus. Ähm, aber egal, das werden wir dann alles äh, mitkriegen. CIC komme ich gerade her. Captain's Cabin. Na, hm, hm, hm. Also einmal zu Engineering. Ähm, da unten war noch niemand. Eventuell, Jack hat ja... Äh, hat ja überlebt, die letzte Mission. Die wird sich wahrscheinlich dann wieder hier einquartieren, wenn wir die dann wiederfinden und wenn die mitkommen will. Bin mal sehr gespannt, wen wir von der alten Crew alles nochmal finden. Verloren haben wir ja tatsächlich nur Telly und Jacobs, soweit ich weiß. Commander. Alles klar. Wobei Telly mir echt wehgetan hat. Das war, war nicht schön. Jacob war eh Zaborus, wobei nicht so richtig, aber... Na ah, egal. Ist eh zu spät. Mit den Konsequenzen müssen wir ja jetzt leben. Okay, was kann man da noch machen? Wir haben Armor. <lacht> Casual, Armor, was weiß ich. Helmet. Kann ich irgendwas austauschen? Der Breather Helmet bringt mir was? Gar nichts. Den brauchen wir noch nicht. Das bringt mir weniger Health Boost, mehr Shield Regeneration. Okay. Da haben wir nichts. Da haben wir auch nichts. Da haben wir Lex. Haben wir was? Weapon Damage. Weapon Damage? Mehr Weapon Damage. Das ist gar nicht schlecht. Mehr Weapon Damage mag ich. Finde ich gut. So, hat sich ja schon gelohnt. Ach, das war dieses äh, Kaufmenü. Ähm, Upgrades. Wir hatten noch irgendwelche Upgrades, hatten wir noch bekommen, oder? Predator war die Pistole. Das war die MP. Äh, was habe ich denn noch? Die Mantis habe ich noch aufgewertet. Wie viel habe ich denn? 60.000 Credits wieder? Hm. Jawohl, dann werten wir die Predator nochmal auf. Okay, mehr geht nicht. Dann die Mantis. Ist zwar teuer, aber gut. Ja, mehr können wir die nicht aufwerten. Dann haben wir noch die Weapon Bench, die Mantis und die Predator. Hier könnten wir theoretisch noch einen Mod reinpacken, aber wir haben nur den einen Mod. Okay. Alles klar. <lacht> Genug mit technischem Schnickschnack jetzt. Gunsmith, okay. That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him. Taking names and kicking ass. Alles klar. 
Das finde ich aber auch gut, dass die nicht, äh, dass ich da nicht in den Dialog irgendwie gezwungen werde, in diesen Dialogstream, sondern dass die einfach irgendwas vor sich hin labern. Hä? Moment, war ich... Ach, Engineering war... Okay, ich weiß. Äh, da war ich schon. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper Invasion Front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. It's not an average school. They might even be doing work for the Alliance. What can we do? A Turian Evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Okay, äh, uh, Grissom Academy, das sollten wir uns mal anschauen. Aber erstmal, mh, erstmal wollte ich nochmal zu Joker. Mal checken, was da abgeht, was der zu Idi sagt. Sitzt sie hier irgendwo? Ja, da sitzt sie. Wie geil. Und? Hey Commander, check out my co-pilot. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that. I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. <lacht> okay. Jo, freut sich Anna. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard. Do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, Will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. 
Hm. Dann bin ich mal sehr gespannt, was sie denn wohl für Fragen hat. Vielleicht können wir jetzt schon mal gerade die erste aus ihr rauskitzeln. Das wäre doch mal ganz interessant. Gerade nochmal. Ja, ich auch. Ja, genau. So, Ivi. Äh, okay, jetzt können wir das erste normale Gespräch mit ihr führen. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics space forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Okay. Waren zwar keine Fragen jetzt dabei, aber trotzdem mal ein ganz interessantes Gespräch. Dann würde ich sagen, äh, haben wir diese Krise erfolgreich abgewehrt, dass die Normen die <lacht> sich selbst... Ah, Elenko. Geil. Äh, E-Mail? <lacht> Is this address valid? Shepard, I've called and I've sent messages, but I got no response. With Earth's comm system out, I don't expect this will get through either. But I heard a rumor the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name... Tenor Nuara. Please ex excuse the moniker and this email's encryption. In my line of work, it is unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I'm not in good health. We should meet before circumstances force us apart again. Thane! Oh, Thane! Cool. Uh, Doc says, I'm ready for visitors. From Kate Nalenko. Hey, Shepard. 
Through some combination of a medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see you if, if you can spare the time. Counselor Eudina offered me to m offered to make me a spectre, still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room at the, at the hospital when you're on the Citadel. I'd like your advice. Sehr schön, Thane und Caden Alenko sind wieder da. From Sender Blocked. Oh, okay, Commander. My name is Yondum Bao. I'm with Special Tactics and Recon. While some still have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us in STNR took your warnings about the Reaper seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Sincerely, Yondum Bao. STG, STNR. Okay. Meet me in Purgatory from Arya Tilok. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub on the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. Arya. Arya war die, die uh, junge Dame, die uh, Omega geführt hat. Beziehungsweise das, dieses, uh, diese Bar da. Okay, dann haben wir jetzt ein paar uh, Leads, wo wir hin können. Wobei eigentlich alle auf der Citadel sind. Aber ein paar Leute. Okay, sehr cool. Ja, dann uh, würde ich sagen, auf jeden Fall. Zurück zur Citadel. Meet with Diplomats, was ist hier? Rescue the Stu. Ach, das. Ah, ja, genau. Meet with Diplomats. Ach, okay, das war wegen dem Summit. Oder wegen des Summits. Das hier ist, glaube ich, eine Nebenmission. Das dürfte die Hauptmission sein. Ja, und hier haben wir jede Menge Volk zu finden, zu sehen. Ja, würde ich sagen, erstmal zur Citadel, da gibt es so viel zu tun. Da können wir uns eine Weile beschäftigen. Allerdings erst in der nächsten Folge. Ich bedanke mich wie immer fürs Zuschauen. Die Zeit ist nämlich schon wieder vorbei. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, gebt mir gerne einen Daumen nach oben. Wenn es euch nicht gefallen hat, auch gerne einen Daumen nach unten. Über Kommentare freue ich mich immer und bis zum nächsten Mal.